there have been thousands and tens of thousands of people who have been streaming out onto the streets, dressed in their best, carrying balloons and slogans, and they're here to rehearse for this country's most important holiday celebration this weekend, the marking of the birthday of the founder of North Korea. But beyond that, this is also a sign of defiance. Defiance against the U.S. naval strike force led by an aircraft carrier which is positioning itself off the Korean peninsula. U.S. President Donald Trump has vowed to punish North Korea for developing nuclear weapons and threatening to launch them at the U.S. But on the streets of Pyongyang, people say they support their leader standing up to Washington. I'm very proud of the North Korean people and our leader, Kim Jong-un, for being strong-willed, he says. There is defiance also of the economic sanctions, which have piled on to North Korea for years now, aimed at pressuring Pyongyang to abandon nuclear weapons. There's no hint here that the weapons program will stop. In fact, there are expectations that there will be more tests within the coming days, not very far from here. In the meantime, the celebration continues and a signal to the world that this country is going to continue doing what it intends to do and actually continue building what it considers to be extremely important for its own defense. Sasha Petrasek, CBC News, Pyongyang, North Korea.